Okay, well, welcome aboard Impossible Dream. Impossible Dream is the catamaran that I'm going to be undertaking my next challenge, which is to sail across the Atlantic Ocean later this year in, in December. First of all, you'll see that Impossible Dream is a catamaran. She's a big, wide yacht. That's perfect for me because I'm in my wheelchair. One thing I need is stability. And as you can see, my wheelchair is on these nice, wide decks. And that's excellent. It means I can come all the way up from the back of the boat, all the way up round the yacht, and back round again in my big electric wheelchair. We're here at the Southampton Boat Show, showing off about my next challenge. And um, sat here at the front of the boat, you can see we've got these roller furled sails. This is, in, in fact, the stay sail. The one a bit further out is the Genoa. And the big main sail, which is up on the mast, the one thing you'll notice about all three sails is they're roller furled. What that means is they're wrapped around the stay. And the beauty of that for me is that to unfurl them, all I have to do is push a button and the sails come out. Well, We're now coming down to one of the aft navigation stations. This one's the port side. What you'll notice here is we've got a steering position, we've got um, autopilot and we've got a chart plotter with all the normal Raymarine data that gets fed back. The reason for having one on the port side and one on the starboard side, first of all, when you're out sailing it's a nice day, you don't want to be inside, you want to be out in the sun. And the other main point is that um, when you're coming alongside to a pontoon, you want to be see, able to see where you're going. So if you're coming port side too, for example, like we are here, you steer from here and then you can see where the boat is so you don't crash into anything. Here we are on the aft deck of Impossible Dream. Again, as you can see, it's fully wheelchair accessible. We come through to the seating area. There is actually a table stowed underneath here, which would come up and make a nice eating area. Nice and wide doorways. Follow me through to the saloon. Um, here we are into the main saloon living area of Impossible Dream. As you come through, the first thing you'll notice is round to your right is the galley area. All low level, we've got electric hobs, we've got a microwave, oven, twin sinks, and underneath down here we've got a fridge as well. To the, if you follow me round, this is the main navigation station. Excuse the mess, we're having a bit of work done at the moment. And here, this is really, this is where it all happens. This is the console of the Starship Enterprise, if you like. Everything over here from the, my chart plotter, which is like um, a sat-nav in your car, except this will show me where all the ships are and um, when I'm on a collision course with something. Also, I have my autopilot. That's very important because I'm not going to steer this boat 3,000 miles across the ocean. Um, I'm actually going to use the autopilot for most of it. Twin. And here, on the port-hand side of the boat, is my sleeping area. Um, this, is, was where the, this was where the seating was, uh, with the tables and, um, and, and cushions. But we've changed it to my bed, and there's a reason for that. It's because when I'm doing this crossing, if um, there's an emergency... I don't want to be below decks having to come up to rectify the problem. I want to be able to get straight from my bed to my wheelchair to the navigation station as well.